The state of Georgia executed a woman overnight for the first time in 70 years. Kelly Gissendiner was put to death despite an appeal from the Vatican on behalf of Pope Francis. The letter asked for her death sentence to be commuted. Mark Strassman is outside the prison in Jackson, Georgia, southwest of Atlanta. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Despite that papal plea for mercy and last-minute legal appeals that reached the U.S. Supreme Court, Kelly Gissendaner was executed in the prison behind me. The Pope has tried to intervene in executions before, but this was the first time since his call last week for the U.S. to end the death penalty. We are still fighting. Um, do not lose your faith. Calls to save Kelly Gissendaner's life echoed outside the state prison in Jackson, Georgia on Tuesday night. But after more than five hours of delays, the 47-year-old, who spent 18 years in prison for plotting the murder of her husband, was given a lethal injection. The court-ordered execution of Kelly Renee Gissendaner was carried out in accordance with state law. Back in 1997, her then-boyfriend, Greg Owen, the man who carried out the murder, took a deal from prosecutors to testify against Gissendaner. He was sentenced to life in prison and is still eligible for parole in 2022. Earlier in the day, a letter on behalf of Pope Francis was presented to the Georgia Board of Pardons and Paroles, asking them to stop Gissendaner's execution. Please be assured of my prayers as you consider this request by Pope Francis for what I believe would be a just act of clemency. The Vatican letter referenced the impassioned speech the pontiff made before Congress last Thursday, condemning the death penalty. Every life is sacred. Witnesses said in her final conscious moments, Kelly Gissendanger sang Amazing Grace. Gail? Thank you very much, Mark.